how's it going, everybody? It is Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock, and today we are going to sit back and just get nice and cozy, and we are going to take a trip back to the past! Animal Crossing's past, that is. So I have been thinking a lot about Animal Crossing for the last... 20 years? How old is the series? I think about it a lot. Um, and I've been thinking a lot about New Horizons, which comes out March 20th next year. I'm very excited. So I thought, hey, it'd be fun to kind of look back on the old trailers, the old reveal trailers for every Animal Crossing game that has come out for the GameCube, for the DS, for the 3DS, for the Wii, and just kind of, you know, be nice and snuggly. Which I am, by the way, as you can see. Um... I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but Thanksgiving's a garbage holiday. It's really stupid. It's coming late this year, the 27th? Are you kidding me? No, 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 It's Christmas season. Also, I'm thankful every day of my life, so I don't need a special day to be thankful. Anyways, let's get into it. We're kicking it off, I think, by checking out uh, an old trailer for Animal Crossing Wild World. We're gonna kind of jump around. We're not doing the GameCube one first, but anyways, here we go. Let's do this. Where's my mouse? There it is. Hello. Okay, here we go. Oh, it wasn't even called Wild World yet. That's interesting. Oh man, look at that DS. Look at the, oh, it's, it's cute how they got the sky up there. I, I mean, I remembered that, but seeing it again is kind of interesting. Look at this. It looks so primitive. Teddy, listen to the voices. That's weird. I will be pausing this as well uh, as time goes by. You know what I'm noticing? That text box looks kind of, is that the one they ended up with? I think they changed that text box. Isabel, ah! Okay, I don't know if you guys have been around long enough to remember my Animal Crossing City Folk journals, because that was a long time ago, but Isabelle made my life a hell. I hated her. Look at her. I mean, she's hideous. She's a rat. She's like a punk rock rat that has a rash on her face. Or so oh my god. I better not say that, because I guarantee you now I will be cursed and she will be on my island in New Horizons. But I did not... Is Isabella actually? What am I saying Isabel for? I'm so used to Isabel. That's Isabella? Was that her that's her last that, that's her name, right? Isabella. Yeah. I totally forgot her name. I just said Isabel. Anyways, um Isabel is a lot more pleasing than and to look at than that. Isabel is cute. Isabella is puke. Anyways. Oh, remember the gate? Oh, this was the first game that you could play online with your friends, of course. How about fishing? Oh, look at everybody chatting. Oh, it looks so primitive. This looks like a game you're playing on your watch by today's standards. Um, okay, well, that was that. Okay, wait, we're already moving on to City Folk, I guess. Did I pause it? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> this is very well rehearsed. Okay, let's watch City Folk now. Oh, look at that. This is the uh, E3 trailer, I believe. So this is obviously a step up visually from Wild World. We're getting ads. This is good. God. Look at how stumpy they look. I don't, I'm very... You know what? It's so weird because uh, you would think that that's such a drastic change in character design. They went from being little to little. And um, you'd think that would be a bad thing. Because, you know, can you imagine if they all, the, if they all of a sudden decided Mario's going to be tall or something? It'd be kind of weird. But I think it really worked for this game. I can't look back at these. You know what's really funny though? I can look at the GameCube characters and be like, oh yeah, cute. But the the Wild World and the City Folk characters, when I look back on this, I just think, this looks wrong. I don't know, it just looks bad. I like that they're taller now. They look better now. But anyways, here we go. Showing the different seasons progressing. I have put so much time into this game. It's unbelievable. Play this a lot with friends. Like I said earlier, some of you might not know it, but this was like my first time doing a video journal on uh, Animal Crossing back in the day. Look at those glasses! Them are beautiful! She got those from Gracie Grace. No, she didn't actually. Gracie Grace are different. Uh... Okay. The city was... Tea, if you know what I mean. Uh, I did not like the city in this game at all. It seemed like an irritating thing to have to go off to. And I don't like, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times, I don't think an urban atmosphere works with Animal Crossing. I just don't like this. This is all stuff that should just be in your town or close by. I hear the shoeshine guy here can really work his magic or something. 
But yeah, this was like the main thing about City Folk, yet it was the least interesting part of the game for me. I was very excited to see like holidays returning and uh, being able to play online with less restrictions than Wild World had. Go oh, God! Is there anyone that actually played with the me mask on? Because I feel like you got to be a special kind of person to play with the me mask in Animal Crossing. Did the me mask, if you... My voice went really high there, but I am an elf, so it's okay. Uh, did you, uh, did the me mask change your skin tone? Like, if you had a, a black me mask on, like a, you know, a black me, did it change the character's skin, or was it... It feels like it would have to. That would be weird. And if they went to the trouble to do that, why not just have darker skin Animal Crossing characters? I don't know. They do now, so whatever. But the me mask is unholy in every way. I like me's, but not like this. Yeah, this was a bad idea, Brewster. So that was one of the things about... Um, oh, this looks cozy right here. Look at this. Uh, that was one of the things about City Folk. A lot of people like complained about City Folk and uh, it wasn't new enough. Um, for me, if you look back at Wild World, there's a lot of stuff they removed from the game. And there were a lot of limitations. Like holidays, for example, were, were removed in Wild World. That is so crappy looking back on it. And even back then, I was disappointed by that. So like... To me, City Folk was great because it was like, hey, we're taking all the great things from the GameCube game, we're taking all the great things from Wild World, we're mashing them together, and here you go. Like, so that was enough for me to really enjoy it. So, I'm a fan of City Folk. It's, it's definitely in my top, I don't know, top three Animal Crossing games. What other, like four? So I guess that do, it's not saying much, but New Leaf, would, New Leaf, GameCube, then City Folk. Tom Nook. I'm gonna look fatter back in the day. All right, here we go. Now we're moving on to another City Folk trailer. What is this? Okay. In Animal Crossing City Folk, There's a lady talking to us. So I think this was like a launch trailer, I believe. Just live life. That can be hard, actually, in real life and in Animal Crossing. Visit other players. Go fishing. Stand up while playing Animal Crossing. I didn't even use the motion control in this game, and I am obsessed with motion control, especially back in these days. Oh, oh little frosty town, baby! Mom and daughter hanging out, playing Animal Crossing. Look at this. New Year's is such an amazingly magical time in Animal Crossing. I love it. I don't know why. I, that might sound pathetic that you're spending your New Year's playing Animal Crossing, but every New Year when I have friends over, we always make sure Animal Crossing is on for the countdown. Like, that's the way to do it. I don't care what anybody says. We speak! Alright, let's talk a bit about we sp speak. Oh. Wow, I love what you've done with Holy cr- Wow, I'm playing a video game! This is very comfortable! I play video games with my arm in the air at all times. Um, most people probably would have relaxed their hand a bit, but... So what I was going to say is, um, We Speak was weird because, obviously, I think it launched with Animal Crossing City Folk, and, uh, it was like a, it was a good, noble idea that just doesn't work. It could have worked with some better technology, but it didn't. The biggest problem with We in case you kids are very young and you don't know, We Speak was this little thing that you'd put under your TV or on top of your TV, and it was like a microphone. It was a way to voice chat online with your friends in Animal Crossing, and I think a couple other games used it. Um, but so you didn't need to wear anything. You didn't have to wear a headset or have a microphone attached or anything. So it was like a communal voice chat. Everybody in the room could talk to everybody else in the room. So it's a noble idea. I like that. I don't have to wear something. I don't have to, you know, it's not a private conversation. You know, so it's neat. Um, it sucked because all you would hear is echoing nonstop because obviously you have your television speakers on while you're playing a game and so you'd be playing with your friends and then you'd like hear yourself echoing in their thing. It was, it was a kind of a mess. You had to like take the Wii Speak and drag it across the room to you so that it was far away from the TV speakers. So it was like, well, at this point I might as well just have a microphone and it, it didn't really work. I admire the idea, but the execution was not so good. Oh, caught a yellow butterfly. I'm a beach boy. I love putting my house on the beach. I don't know if I'll still do that in New Horizons. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. But I have traditionally done that. There's that me again. We don't need to look at that. Is that Rashida Jones? 
Who's Rashida Jones? Do I even know who I'm talking about? The woman from Parks and Rec. It's all about creating your own world. Thank you for that. Ooh, the Wii. All right, we're moving on now to another Wild World trailer. Again, like I said, this is just a casual little sit down. They were really playing up the globe aspect of Animal Crossing. Holy graphics. Oh, Aurora, that's a cute little penguin. Ooh. Ah, uh, what was that? Um, this person called their town Weeville. As in W E E Ville. Weeville. That don't sound right. Why is their name? This is an official trailer. It's called Weeville. Ooh, I love the museum. That's a nice place to go and relax and get cozy. I love the aquarium part of the museum. That's where you. I miss Celeste! I gotta say, the constellations in the sky, it was like not the greatest way of doing it, but there's just something so quaint and wonderful about Celeste being into, you know, the sky. By the way, her name is Celeste because isn't that short for like celestial? Like, isn't, and doesn't that mean like the sky and whatnot? So her very, she's named after the sky and stars and stuff. But then now in, in New Leaf, they just had her like in the museum doing nothing related to the sky. So I maybe bring that back because it doesn't make much sense for Celeste to now just be doing some random thing. But I like this. This is, it was, I don't know. There's something about it that's charming. Play with up to four. Animal Crossing has a wall. I just want to point that out. There's a wall in Animal Crossing for security and it works really well. Just throwing that in there. <laughs> Um, look at all these, look at all these little chumleys. Look at them all. Oh god, that's right! There's a message in a bottle feed. Oh, look at the background there. Is that, that's a gyroid of Brewster. That's weird. Um, so, oh my god, this needs to come back. Remember that? There was a little message in a bottle and you throw it in the ocean. You write a message and then you, and then you throw it in the ocean and uh, then they would wash up on your show. I'm a big fan. I'm just realizing this about myself. Holy crap. I'm a big fan of a message in a bottle. That's such a fun thing. Cause it's also in Wind Waker HD, those little tingle bottles. And I was always like so excited to get those with the little drawings and stuff. I want this to come back. New, and it's on a beach. New Horizons is based on an island, you know, like a beach. So if they don't bring this back, what? But it's so fun. Now, obviously, you would only get bottles washing up on your beach from people on your friends list. You don't want it to just be strangers because somebody would absolutely draw a picture of a wiener or a picture of boobs and then, you know, you'd get them washing up and you'd go, uh, but yeah. If it's just your friends, that'd be pretty good. What is this, like a launch trailer? I don't even know what this is. I gotta... Oh. I gotta stop feeling so nostalgic because, um... Oh, God, here we go. I don't even know what I was going to say there. It didn't matter. Whoa, this is nostalgia. Holy crap. Welcome to Animal Crossing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. get connected. This is almost a four-minute trailer here. It's off screen, obviously. Uh-oh. Okay. Up until now, I did not think that the early 2000s had a look. Because you know how, like, the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, there's, like, a fashion and there's a, a furniture style. I didn't realize it until now, but that is the look of the early 2000s. That living room right there and that kid. Holy crap. Oh, this is nostalgic. Look at that TV. Oh, this is a wild game. Literally. Yes, this kid is cool. Look at those camo pants. <laughs> this is weird. Planting fruit and trees. They're really selling it to us. Why did they go, they're, he's just talking about selling it for bells, but then they just showed the post office for some reason. <laughs> Look at 
Listen to this music. Nintendo's marketing was garbage for the longest time. I want to buy this game, though. It's working on me. Also, I want to wear a long sleeve red shirt underneath an orange shirt. And brown cam brown and green camo pants. Ugh. Sisters. Oh, uh, whoa, what? You can't just pop your memory card out when you're playing like that? Ugh. I love how the 90s and the early 2000s had marketing of like, parents don't understand, am I right? Or like, my big brother or my little sister. Good God, this is painful to watch. Yet somehow it's making me want to play Animal Crossing. Uh, they... Oh, jeez. Let's see the island. Yeah. Oh, they sped up the footage there. What? Oh, this was before Nintendo sold them to us separately. Of course I want to hear that new town tune. Uh, that's the way we used kids back in the early 2000s. That's the way we used to flirt with each other. Like if you if a girl liked a boy, she'd be like, do, do you want to hear my new town tune? And it'd be like, oh, let's go. That's not true. I've never been able to successfully flirt with a girl. Look at all this crap that's being attached to this. What is happening? What is this cringe? How this feels like it's lasted for three hours. <laughs> I feel like that joke would trigger some people nowadays. Nintendo wouldn't do that one. What? You don't. Oh my god. I hate Animal Crossing now. Hey, kids, just awkwardly hold the accessories up for the camera there. Why was the mama banana? That doesn't happen in the game. Oh, God, look at that box art. Oh, Star Fox clip for a second there. Okay, now this is better. This is what we're going to talk about. This is no cringe, hopefully. This isn't even like uh, a blast from the past for me because I still play this game. I was playing it over the summer a lot. Oh, the soundtrack is great, too. I think there's going to be a lot of footage we just watched. Yeah, it's sort of weird to think that there was a time when Animal Crossing was not this gigantic thing for Nintendo. It was like this new IP that they're desperately trying to introduce to people and get people to understand. And now it's just like a system seller. Like literally Animal Crossing is a system seller. Which makes me very happy. I'm very happy to have been there from day one too. I get some pride out of that for some reason that I probably shouldn't. Oh, it's a little ducky. I think that was one of the patterns that came with the game. I might be wrong, though. Like, that might be in everybody's file. Baby chick. Baby chick. Cheep, 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 cheep. Lily. Lily's a good one. Look how cute she is. I want Lily in my town. She just said totally as her catchphrase. That's a giant snake cat, I think. That's a snake cat. I see... Animal Crossing has taught, I'm not even joking, I have learned so much about insects and fish through Animal Crossing. I would have never known what a snake head was uh, in terms of being a fish before playing this. It's an educational game. This guy's in Rome. No, was that his name or? I caught a red dragonfly. I wonder if it can breathe fire. Ah, uh, Cap'n in his little boat. We're bound for Dream Island. <laughs> I also think it's so charming that the f you couldn't see the sky, 
So they would just show you reflections in the water, like in the main pond area. That is so wonderful. I love it. Toto KK. He's not even called KK Slider. He's called Toto KK. That is pretty weird. They changed that. Probably for the better. All right. I think we've got one more to watch here. It's like a 30 second commercial. Oh, we're going to watch a commercial because this is on IGN. So, well, we're not actually going to watch that. Here we go. Holy crap! Whoa! I very much forgot that... Uh, hold on a second. We're going to loop this. I very much forgot that this was... Oh, my God. The original concept for Animal Crossing on the DS. It's legitimately just the GameCube game. This is weird. It's kind of weird to think that that's what they were going to go with. Because this looks like a straight up port of the GameCube game, but with online abilities. And I do not for a second remember as a little kid being disappointed by that. I was always like excited by this. I think this was kind of just a tech demo that they originally showed when they when they showed off the, uh, the DS. Wow. Look at that mushroom painting. That's a good... That's good. That's cute. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and taking a little trip back to the past, a very casual little trip back to the past through Animal Crossing's history of trailers. Um, as many of you know, and I'm sure you share the enthusiasm, I'm so excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Comes out in many days, but you know what? It's not that far away. What is it, like four months? We got... December, January, February, March. That's like four months. We only have four more months, which sounds like a lot, but considering it's a new Animal Crossing game that I can play on my TV and it already looks amazing, I'm pretty excited. It's not that, not that far off. All right, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more uh, content about Animal Crossing. And until then, I will see you guys later. <laughs>